to the Hermes boutique in Vegas with me to check out the new items in the boutique right now and I will share their price details as always. I will also tell you roughly how much I need to spend if I will get a quota bag here. Leave me a comment to let me know your favorite and what do you think of the quota bag situation in Vegas. While you are looking at what's available in the boutique right now, there are three Hermes boutique in Vegas and this one I went is the one inside of the Wing Hotel. The boutique has two levels where the ready to wear pieces are on the second floor. The boutique itself is a bit smaller than my local boutique but it's always nice to check out a new boutique that I have never been to. I don't know any essay in a boutique before my visit and there was a essay approached me to offer to help. The essay asked if I'm interested in anything and also if I have a account with Hermes already. I explained my situation with her and she mentioned that if I do start shopping in Vegas that means I will have to forfeit my account with my local boutique. The spending history is still there but it won't mean anything anymore since I will start getting the quota bags in Vegas. At the same time it also means that I will be kind of like starting from scratch in Vegas to build up my new spending history. This is definitely something to consider if I want to forfeit my account with my local boutique. After all, most of my spending is actually with my local boutique. Either way, I feel I really appreciate the honesty of the essay. At least she told me what happens if I do start shopping here. In the back of my mind, I'm also open to make a big purchase if I can get something on the same day. I'm thinking I do want to focus on most of my purchases here in fine jewelry and also ready to wear if possible. If you watched my Hermes wishlist video before, you probably know that I have a couple of fine jewelry pieces and one watch on my wishlist. It's just that they were not available still in my local boutique and I asked about these fine jewelry pieces as well and they are not available either. However, they do have this FUBU watch that I was interested in available which I'm so happy and so excited and I will show you how they look in a bit. Here you can see some ready to wear pieces from the past seasons. Here are some ready to wear pieces from the Fall Winter 2023 collection. Not all sizes are available. I asked about a couple styles in size 34 which is my normal Hermes size. I was able to find a few ready to wear in my size to see if I can purchase them this time which I will show you the try on in a bit. There are some men's ready to wear pieces are available here as well and I checked them out and I didn't see anything really interesting. Now let's move on to the fine jewelry section to see what's on display first. These pearl earrings are new and the classic Qingdi Angkor earrings and some watches on display here. I have seen this pair of Chaos earrings with 4 diamonds before and it's currently retail for $8,050. And the Chaos necklace is $21,800. Here you can see the Kelly Clochet necklace and the bracelet and the pink sci-fi Kelly pendant and the Constance bracelet. And also the Chain the Encore Divine bracelet is $13,700. Yep. They have the FUBU watch that I'm interested. These Paveda diamond versions are definitely not the ones that I would consider but I like the other ones with Song diamonds and I think they look really nice. The ones I like also way more affordable than these Paveda diamond version and let me show you how they look on me. You guys, this is the FUBU Polka watch in the mini model which is 15mm in size with diamond set mother or a pearl dial and rose gold bracelet. How amazing it looks on me. I can wear it as a watch and also a stacking bracelet too. I will absolutely need a size adjustment since it's really long on me but the essay mentioned that this can be easily done and adjusted. Downside is that it's a quads watch instead of a real watch. What I really want to find out is that if I buy this watch today, can I get a neutral Birkin 25 on the same day? 
What do you guys think? This watch is currently retail for $21,950. Another option is the FUBU watch in the mini model, which is also 15mm with a different style of rose gold bracelet, diamond set, and a wide dial cross movement too. This one is currently retail for $16,275, which is also a great option for me. I'm not sure which one to choose and I'm so torn. The FUBU Polka on the left side looks more unique. The right side FUBU looks really nice and classic as a bracelet too. The left Polka is almost $6,000 more expensive than the right side. Which one do you like more and leave me a comment to let me know which one I should pick. On to the ready to wear section, I finally got to see some of the pieces in person. This 100% cotton flared tee is true to size and I'm wearing my normal Hermes size size 34 here. I really like the flared style and I think it's really flattering. I may prefer the black color one more than this pink one. What do you think? It is a fun piece that can go with many different looks. This tee is currently retail for $750. This one is the long quilted vest that I was eyeing before and it is 100% polyester and the material feels really lightweight. It has the side pocket and this elastic cord can help you to adjust your waist to make it look more flattering. Unfortunately that this is the only size they have which is size 38 and I do think it fits a bit bigger on me and maybe size 36 will work better than this one. The quilted vest is currently retail for $2,900. I think even I zip up the vest, the vest still looks big and the, the issue is the shoulder looks wider on me and I was considering getting this one before and I would have to try on size 34 and 36 to see which one fits me better. These dually buckles short sleeve sweater is in cashmere and the silk knit with cable stitch details. Love the multicolor contrasting lines in the color and the sleeve area and I think I prefer the long sleeve version in a white color more than this black short sleeve but they don't have any white color in the size 34 at this moment so I'm wearing size 34 here to see the sizing and I'd say this style is true to size and this sweater is currently retail for $1,900. This turtleneck chunky knit is in the wool and cashmere mix material and it has those ribbed details as well. The sleeve is in a three quarter length instead of a four length sweater. It is a very cozy and a fun piece here and I'm wearing size 38. I'd say this one is totally fine to go up in sizes to have a bit oversized look as you don't want this style to be so fitted. The sweater is currently retail for 2,500 euro and a little bit over 3,000 in USD. What do you think? I expressed my interest in the FUBU watch and the last sweater I tried on to get a Birkin 25 in neutral colors on the same day which will make the total spending about $20,000. The SA mentioned that she would not be able to offer me anything on the same day and she highly recommend to start the relationship first here which also means end my relationship in my home boutique. Once I start, she will be able to offer me something later in the year. She also mentioned that it is possible to get something on the same day while $20,000 spending is far from enough, which I really appreciate her honesty. Can I get a quota back in Vegas? I think it is always possible. However, I don't think it will be a low ratio or a ratio so much better than my home boutique at least from my experience this time. It might be better for me to stay with my home boutique especially after my Paris experience at this point. What do you think? What's your favorite piece from the Hermes Boutique this time? Leave me a comment and I'll see you soon. Bye bye!